Uh, speaking of David A. Arnold, uh, my very good friend, uh, we have with us today a very special guest, her first time on the uh, Two Funny Mamas podcast. No. Uh, no. You know, I said I It's her first oh, time. I know. Yeah, I was going to say it's yes. her first time. And, uh, but, you know, dear friend of mine, of, and of course, of my dear friend, please welcome to Two Funny Mamas, the wife, the friend, the executive, the producer, the creator. Of course, she's all of those things. The mother of uh, and, uh, David Arnold's, uh, David A. Arnold's wife, uh, Julie. I want to say Julie A. Arnold. I know. Julie! <laughs> Arnold. <laughs> Julie! Hi, guys. Hey. Not quite Julie A. Arnold. I'm Julie H. Deha, Julie Harkness Arnold, but... Hey, ladies. Can I Hi. say, Julie, you, you look so lovely. It's so many things um, just wanting to say to you. Number one, did David A. Arnold never let you do our podcast? Because he sure would jump on a million sure times. When we I saw, it, I saw to that. You. It was my break. I was like, oh, he's going to go talk to them. <laughs> Let me go take my little break. Let me go get my nails done. I'm like, Sherry, Kim, you got them. Woo, I'm going to take a little break oh, here. That's Girl, so yeah, that's true. You, you know, yeah. David is, is our de facto hubby, at least my de facto hubby. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. The, the de facto hubby that I just, I used to say, David, I can't stand you. I love you. Oh, I can't stand you. I you love sure you. did. Yeah, and then he Thank came home you. and I had the same conversation with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it completely. And I, I do have to just bounce back a little bit. I'm sorry about this, but Kim, I, I've listened to your Audible. It is incredible. It's excellent. I had so many laughs, especially during this time I needed laughs. It's so well produced. It's hysterical. And it's just like that. I don't know. I just get this nostalgic feeling how it's produced. Like I'm just here. I can visualize everything that's happening. So congratulations. Oh, thank you, Julie. I do appreciate that. And, um, you know, much we, nicer but, than David A. Arnold was to Kim. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Much nicer. You know, yeah, watching you guys. Yes. Yeah. Okay, watching so, you guys are just like watching brothers and sisters at it the whole time. The whole time. And, um, there are, of course, some things that we, we want to talk about. David was so loved. Uh, I know the world is still in shock. Um, I know you are, the girls are, yes. um, all his friends. Um, I am, you know, all of us. Uh, but David was so, first of all, I guess I want to ask you, how are you guys doing? How, David passed on September 7th of this year, right? So yeah. it, it's been, you know, a couple months, but it, Seems like a blur. It might be feel like a week to you, but how are the girls and how are you doing? Thank you. Um, well, I think Kim, you've been such an incredible support. So um, you've gone through this whole process and this journey with us. The, the girls, you know, it's moment mm -hmm. by moment. I do believe the girls mm -hmm. are doing the best that they can be doing at this time. They um, are keeping active and busy at school. Uh, you know, David was such a strong father that he is in them. So just like their father, they are driving forward. They are um, driving ahead. It is doesn't come without its challenges, you know, um, but they are doing as well as, as expected. They have a great support system and they're doing, I think, you know, good. Good, good. That is so. How are you doing? Uh, um, I'm doing. I'm just. I feel like I'm in the motion of just moving, and uh, I do need to do better with self care. I feel like at the beginning I was doing good with self care, but David and I worked out together, so it's hard for me to work out. I haven't. I haven't worked out to be quite transparent, maybe a hike or here or there. I have friends who were like, we're going on a hike, um, but not like how we used to work out. So I miss that. 
and I just wow. that's one thing that's bonded me with him. Um, so I, I need to get that back, but that's part of the process. You know, it's such it's um, just Julie. Whenever David he talked about you on stage, I want to know. You know him. You literally, you and the girls were his lifeblood of stand-up comedy on the stage. Um, when he would get on that stage and and bear your deepest, <laughs> darkest secrets, I remember when he talked about you breaking your leg, I think, on, and you were on the cruise ship and had to be like, your leg was in a leg yeah. wheelchair. And, it, yeah. and to people who don't know you and David, sometimes he would seem so harsh because he was very picky. He was very, how did you feel? But David would just talk about you and your marriage. He would say, yeah. it's just like a cage come down, let the death match begin. That's marriage. You know, honestly, it's it was just the truth. You know, I feel so, mm -hmm. first of all, I have to say when the whole leg thing, it happened the night before I, I went on a cruise and by the time I got in my room on the cruise, there was a Willie there because of Kim. Kim had ordered that cruise. I don't know how she got that Willie in my in Miami. It was a cruise ship in Miami. Of all those cruise ships, she found our room and had that Willie in there by the time I limped my way into that room. I was so happy to get it too. So thank you, Kim. Well, but Julie was, you don't understand, it, it is weird. I feel like I'm in their marriage. When I tell you, David is fussing, Kemp, Julie don't want to use the Willie thing. I said, you tell Julie I don't order that Willie thing. She's going to use the Willie thing. And when I tell you, this was a constant. So I, I definitely was a sister, if nothing else. Because he told me she hurt her leg. So I was like, I have got, oh, I love that picture. I have got to get the Willie thing for Julie, because she's not going to have fun. He says she tried to walk around this cruise ship without the wheelie thing. He said after she walked one time from one end of the, uh, the ship to the next, she was like, oh, I got to go get the wheelie thing. Yeah, that wheelie thing was my best friend. Yeah, I was exhausted. Those crutches get to you, but you get on that wheelie, you're like, bam, let's go. I left them all uh, behind. I'm like, sorry, you're too slow. I was like, no, yeah. you know, David, you, literally, yeah. David put it all in his stand up. And I remember the first time I heard it, Julie, at the Laugh Factory, me and everybody in the crowd were cracking up about him going, Julie, I told you to use the Willie. <laughs> I mean, and it was, yes. and I would always say, How does Julie feel, David, about you making everything that is private public? Right. Was there you any know, other? Yeah, I'm sorry, he, go. Um, I, I will have to say there was parts of it that was uh, very irritating because you're waking up in the morning with the camera right there. But there was other parts where it was just real. It's just the truth. And I now celebrate it because I feel like I got, I, I got to be in love. I got to explore a marriage for 20 years i got to do this like not everybody gets to do that and i got to have love and all the aspects of it you know the messy parts the irritating parts the frustrating parts the blissful parts the true love parts the unconditional parts all of it i got to do it and i had it for 20 years so i feel very blessed to have Wow. Well said. 20 Absolutely. years. 20 years. You think about that. That's two decades um, of just being with, with a man and, like you said, being in love. And we know the love that, that David had for you. I When he gave you your anniversary, it was you guys's, how, what was that your anniversary or your birthday? It was Were, my 50th. Birthday, about 50th. Yes. 50th birthday, and I remember oh, you. He worried us. Go ahead. He worried us today, and I remember to the day, Julie, when he called because Tom Jordan had bought Kim and I a bunch of Louis Vuitton bags, and David called me, and he was like, "Look, I'm looking for a bag for Julie. Can I can I get one of yours?" And I was like, "Why, David, would you give Julie a used bag?" And he's like, "You you're not using them." 
why can't Julie have one? And I was like, you're right. But Julie don't want no used Louis Vuitton bag from me. Won't you making the money? Won't you get her? When I tell you, and he did the same thing to you, didn't he, Kim? He sure did. He was like, you not using all of them. They're probably still in the box. Yes. <laughs> but when he it was, came yeah. back and showed us the video and talked about you and his love for you, it just was like, Ah, I said, David, how does Julie put up with you? Well, I know, I know how to answer that. I spent the time that I did, and then I sent them off to you guys. <laughs> like, You're up. I tapped out. You're up. <laughs> and that probably, you know, that's probably why you all stayed married so long because he would go on the road, and he had all these great women around him. Um, he comes from a family of women, but you're right. You would send him off and that, that is true. That's probably a secret to that because I always called him my uh, road husband. Um, but it was more like my brother because there, it, ugh, when I tell you we would fight. So, um, ooh. Uh, and then we would fight on stage. Like the audience wasn't there. That's what's so crazy. <laughs> I didn't give a damn, you know, I didn't care. Um, so it's been uh, wonderful. I know we're all in shock, um, but I really want to get to what we need to, to clarify and put out there, Julie. What happened to David Arnold, your husband? Why do you feel he, yeah. Why do you feel he is, not even feel that you know for sure uh, because David had a clean life, David exercised, David ate well, um, and with all the things that are happening in the world, I know you you know, want to talk about some things which are important to all of us um, um, to know. So I'd just like to hear your story on, on why do you know and, and feel like David has left us? Well, um... Just to echo everything you said, you know, David had been sober for 25 years. I've never seen him drink. I've never seen him smoke. He did enjoy a cigar from time to time, but he never had any of those vices. Um, he always worked out. He would brag about his triglycerides and his cholesterol level. And all of that is true. He was, when we did a private autopsy, and the results we got back is that everything he said he was, he was. His uh, toxicology report was squeaky clean because he hadn't drank or smoked for over 25 years. Um, he was the picture of health. He was at the top of his game. He worked out, he ate well. So what happened, uh, what they did find, the only irregularity in through his whole body was that his heart was enlarged and it had thickened walls. And the significance of it, him having thickened walls is that it means it was something probably genetic. And this is based off of the cardiologist that I spoke to. If he just had an enlarged heart, then that could mean he may have had a virus or he took some kind of medication or some kind of vac vaccine that could have led to this. But because of the thickened walls, it is something that he had genetically that we did not know about. And the reason why it take, has taken me so long to discuss this is because because it's something genetic, I wanted to make sure that the girls were cleared and that our daughters were okay. So uh, we went to a pediatric cardiologist and got a panel of tests done on the girls. And fortunately, truly blessed the girls are fine but because it is something genetic we do have to test them every year but oh. uh, they believe that david had hypertrophic cardiomyopathy uh, which is pretty much you hear about the athletes who are at the top of their game in the best shape and then they drop dead it's that same thing it's called the like a hidden killer unfortunately and we believe that that what led to David's demise. Is there so, some... Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Kim. Um, 
you know, not knowing this, Julie, is there something that you would tell other people that when we go to the doctor, you know, to ask the doctor to look at certain things or is it only genetic? So we don't have no. to be concerned. You know, Sherry, that's so tough because David would see his doctor. Obviously, he was very healthy, so he was in constant contact. He was working out, but they would have never went um, looked for this or given him an echo because he was so healthy. Uh, unless you genetically know that this runs in your family, you don't know to look for it. Only thing I can suggest is that every few years or when you do get your physical you know ask say yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get a echo just to check to make sure everything's in rhythmic formal to see if my heart has enlarged within the past 12 months it's really tough um the only like the solace that i have is the fact that normally we have this condition the first symptom is you passing out which is horrible so it's always almost like it's too late but I do find comfort in the fact that David fainted, passed out first before he felt any pain. Um, and that gives me a little comfort. Wow. Okay. Um, so, well, that that is important uh, because I know there, you know, people always speculate people where David was so loved um, and people were asking, um, all, you know, people want to know, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I love David too. And, you know, I've, I've walked as well. I had, did not realize how loved David A. Arnold was. I, I, I was blown away at the outpouring of support and the people that showed up at the celebration. Were you shocked by that? I was not, I was su surprised. I'm still surprised by how many people are still reaching out, sending me messages, just touching base saying, just thinking of you. I have, and the support, not only from the fans, the fans has been so exceptional. I have been so touched and moved by it. it you can't, and, and the girls too. That's part of our healing and recovering is through the love that we've gotten, but not only through our fans, but it's a testimony of Dave, how many people love David, even professionally and personally, because Nickelodeon, our family at Nickelodeon, Will Packer, uh, Three Arts Entertainment, they have heartbeat, has, they have been so loving and supportive. And normally when you hear big names like that, you think, oh, financially, they're help. It's really not that. It's really, I got you. And when you call me in two months, I'm still going to be here. That kind of support. Right, that's, right. that's what I need is the fact that when I call next July, when I reach out, you know, yeah. they'll still be there or they'll beat me to it because they've just called me and just said, I'm checking in on you, sister. So that's, that means so much. That is a testament to who you are, who, who David was. And I guess that's the question. What's next? What is next for Julie Arnold, uh, the family? What, what is your, what's your next move? Uh... <laughs> you want to go back to being a rocket, Julie? <laughs> Not going to be joining you in New York anytime soon, but I will say this, my um, mental health, making sure that I'm on point and that the girls are on, um, on point mentally, because mm -hmm. this is traumatic. Um, it's, it's hard. I know you guys know because I'm not mm -hmm. only mourning, you guys are grieving with me. So I know you know. Um, but I've been really, really blessed. I'm over here now at uh, Nickelodeon working on the show that David and I created called That Girl Lele. They've embraced me with open arms. Uh, they give me the, the freedom, even though I'm here every day and I'm working every day and I love it because it is the baby, it's my baby as well. And I bring, uh, continuing David's legacy, it feels good to be here. They get it if I need a break, if I need to take a few moments, or if I just 
need to go cry. Um, so that's where I am now and I'm loving it. And I look forward to every, everything's to come. We're going to start a foundation in David's name. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's, that's going to be the next thing on our list. And then David was working on projects. He was literally had me writing on projects um, when he passed away. And so those things, I'm really hoping that we can bring those to the forefront as well. Well, fantastic. Is there anything else that you, you know, want to wrap up with or any advice to women who lose their husband or anything you want to say uh, uh, and uh, to wrap this whole um, uh, interview, I would say, up or conversation with you? Because, you know, we talk a lot, but we don't talk publicly. Um, but just um, or, or just say goodbye and Merry Christmas. I don't know. Well, if any women out there who find themselves to be new widows, you can always reach out to me um, oh, and we nice. can go through this process together and and just, you know, I, I wish everybody the very best of everything. Thank you again and again for your support and your love and to have the best holiday ever because Thanksgiving we got through pretty well. Um, Christmas has been pretty shaky, but... Um, Dave, this is one little thing I want to share real quick. David mm -hmm. had blessed us before he passed away with a trip, to, trip over Christmas. And I tried to cancel the trip because, you know, emotionally I just wasn't there. And I prayed, I'm like, God, am I supposed to go on this trip? And sure enough, I called those airlines. They're like, uh, your ticket's not refundable. <laughs> it was like, be sorry, yeah. we are going to go. And, um, and remember I, I said to, that. I know you've been telling me, you were like, you got to go. Um, I have perfect peace about it now and I'm looking for yeah. it and I feel like David will be with us. So well, thank you guys. Um, and Don't leave. I want to ask you. Us. Say that again, Julie, because I interrupted you. I'm sorry. I just wanted to say thank you, Sherry and Kim, for loving David and loving us, loving me and Anna Grace and Ashlyn and just being there for us. Um, Julie, cause you know how much we love you. I remember we were pregnant at the same time. Uh, <laughs> at, at, I think it was at Tangie's baby shower, um, who's also, you know, comedic actress and just, uh, mm -hmm. and meeting you there and, and th cause I thinking you were the most, like the sweetest person, which I still don't think anybody's equal to in sweetness. Mm -hmm. But is there anything that people who are fans of David, of your marriage, like you you and David gave everybody hope in marriage, your videos, you know, you would sit in bed and you'd be doing something and David would be talking in that camera and you, that laugh of yours is just joy, pure gold. Mm -hmm. When David would make you laugh, I would, you better get that caffeinated stroke, Julie. <laughs> Um, oh God! Uh, not the not the caffeinated, mm -mm -mm. the caffeinated mm -mm. Drink. <laughs> and you would laugh. But there are so many fans who go, "I just want to do something." Is there anything that the girls need? Is there a a fund that they can donate to something? Because I know a lot of people just go, "We love David so much." Is there anything that we can do? Time to eat. Well Kim got all the treats right there. Um, yes. How about if I leave down and we can get it on the Chiron for everybody, if anybody wants to, just for the girls, if they, if they feel the need. and Or for David's foundation that's coming up, because we want to share the love. We want to pass down things in David's name um, and his legacy. So thank you for asking, but absolutely. We love you, Julie, so much. And um, I'm here in New York. I'm always, the, the times that you're on my mind is when I'm laying in bed and I just was like, Julie ain't gonna appreciate me calling her and no dog on two in the morning. So I just always pray because we're on different time zones. But I just want to tell you, just aside from David, Julie, you have always just inspired me um, to think about loving again because David would not be David A. Arnold without Julie standing there, uh, supporting him, encouraging him, helping mm -hmm. him with the videos. And so it's just, you are such an inspiration. 
And again, you know, you know, we all got you because we, we love you, period. Thank you, guys. We love you, too. Always will. Until next time. Oh. Mwah. Thank you, Julie. We love you. Thank you for coming on. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas.